Hey there guys, Loy Misido here. If you'd like to learn more about personal branding, the educational content, tips and tricks, strategies, all you got to do is go to YouTube on the top, type personal branding Loy Misido. I have over a hundred videos with regards to personal branding for free. No extra charges at all. So do it now if you want to know more. And at the same time, coming up next is another educational video with regards to personal branding. Enjoy. Hi there, Lloyd Mesita. Speaking to you from LloydMesita.com. Who is Lloyd Mesita and Think Personal Branding? The question is, how do I monetize my personal brand? Okay, um, it's a very simple question. How do I monetize means how do I make money out of my personal brand? My personal brand, that is me or what I show to the world outside. Okay, so how do you monetize? It's a very simple question. Okay, so here are the points that I can give you. Number one is, um, your personal brand, when you show it to anyone, it is not just your appearance. It is not just your the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you sound. It is what is the value, what is the service that you provide for which a person should come to you and only you and nobody else. That is what personal branding is all about. If, let's say, for example, uh, he can come to you for, let's say, repairing your, your iPhone and he can go to 20 other guys that's not actually a personal brand. Okay, that's just a service. However, let's say he wants to, um, you know, decorate his his iPhone case, and you're the only one who can customize it and put, you know, jewelry and diamonds and uh, or uh, carvings on it, or uh, you know, you do something strange that nobody else does. That is personal branding. So the first thing that you need to ask yourself is. What is the service that you provide, which is exclusive to you? Now, I know this is pretty hard, especially when it's it's pretty hard. Let's say, for example, you're an IT guy, okay? And um, everyone knows how to, let's say, say networking or uh, let's say software. Uh, you're able to install software and you're able to connect uh, PCs, uh, computer parts. Now, everyone can do that. So you need to ask yourself, what is that something extra that I can put which makes this exclusively mine it it you know it just just doesn't come on price and it just doesn't come on uh, let's say how fast you do the work but it can come down to quality so people should recognize you for something that's what awesome. the second thing is uh, keep in mind that if you want to monetize your brand you need to do that particular service repeatedly consistently and it should have a particular standard let's say for example um, I give my car for a service to you okay to you for for you to check up uh, not to any other guy and you maintain a very high standard instead of 10 point checkup you give a 15 point checkup where 15 points of the car you check and you do it within one hour okay and you do this consistently uh every time i bring my car in okay instead of 10 you give me 15 instead of the other guys doing it like two hours you do it in one hour and you maintain the standard that is where you can monetize your brand. So keep a standard and stick to it. Don't, you know, don't don't make the experience in such a way. Let's say you're running a restaurant which is exclusively with your name. Let's say Loy Macedo's Italian restaurant. And one day I give you like, um, I, I serve you the food within half an hour and it's really fresh. The next time when you come, I take, let's say one hour and it's not fresh. So keep it standard. The, the third thing what you need to understand is, uh, you know, I'm looking at the notes so that, you know, I give you the points. Um, it's very important for you to give a very high quality service whereby you get references and recommendations. And sometimes you even need to ask for it explicitly or tell them, uh, could you refer one of your friends or bring them here? Um, for example, if you check my LinkedIn profile, you would see... 100 LinkedIn recommendations. Now, they didn't just come naturally or just, you know, people just send them. I literally asked for them. And uh, what happened is when I asked and when they gave their recommendation, somebody who was connected to them read the recommendation and said, no, oh, okay, so you took his service, you paid for it, you had a good service, hmm, maybe I should try this guy. And when it goes word of mouth, that really becomes strong. But keep in mind, it's very important to have recommendations and references Otherwise, it's very hard to survive in a competitive world. And that's how you monetize. Last, if not the least, okay? Uh, you always need to ask yourself, how can I charge something more? How can I up my game? How can I 
earn more per hour. When I started off my career, I remember I charge a hundred dollars. I remember, no, sorry, twenty-seven dollars, twenty-seven dollars for the first service I gave. Just imagine twenty-seven dollars, and I think I I gave it for hours and hours. Today I charge a hundred and fifty dollars just to talk to a person. Hundred and fifty dollars. So from twenty-seven dollars, which went for many many hours to I think a couple of days, to one hundred and fifty dollars an hour, it it has been a long road. Now the next question I need to ask myself. which obviously i did was how can i up my game and take say 500 dollars an hour now that i had to provide something of extra value other people are not stupid they count every penny and that is where i came up with a uh, package price like uh, resume rebranding interview coaching all within one hour is 500 dollars and then there are premiums to that so how do you monetize your personal brand number one is make sure that you're known for a particular service exclusively second point is do something repeatedly and maintain the standards third one is ask for recommendations and references and last if not the least is ask yourself how can i up my game and charge a little bit extra so i hope this answers your question how can you monetize your personal brand if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't like it thumbs down put your comments i always read them and uh, this is me signing off for now take care